So you're eh? freaking right it is boys girls peoples. How's your day going today? Make sure you tell me in the comments because I'd like to know what's really going on. Freaking right I do. Like I said in the last video my next project was going to be the old uh, Axial. Freaking. CSX10. Boys. But I had to order parts for it I did. It's just cocked. These shock towers are broken. This shock tower is broken. I'm missing some of these and the engine's kind of wibbly wobbly in here so. And this is all deckered boys. Look at it. What happened? So I've got parts coming for this, so you really can't do much for this if I mount this back down. But I'm not even gonna do that right now until I get parts. I'll do it all at once and that will be that. So this this one here, I just wanted to come on and tell you there's gonna be a hold on that one for a bit. The parts come from China, so it takes a while for them. I know China, I apologize, Dennis, but hey, it is what it is, it is. I don't have to leave the house that way. I can stay home and I can do nothing like I like doing. Hey, why wouldn't I? But but we gotta go to Trevor's there. And we gotta do some uh, video. He wants to do a little video action on his car, he does. Remember the VR6 there I had on my channel there a little while ago with the old. Uh... Remember the video there I did with the old T Rex foreskins? <laughs> Remember? Oh, you screwed me right now. I don't even know what he's talking about now. We're talking about his car. Oh, that's right. Thanks, Mel. So, anyways, I don't know if you remember me talking there about. Uh... So you're, I don't know if you remember the video there, I mean, when I was in Grand Band, eh? We're gonna do a video with Trevor we are. He wants to uh, do a couple videos for his channel, so I'm not gonna put them on my channel, but I will definitely do a video of that before to put on my channel so you have his and you have his and he has his own. So hopefully you understand that because I sure the hell didn't, but that's what I'm gonna freaking do. Make sure you get over there and subscribe to Trevor's channel. I'll put at the end of my video, you'll have a link to get to his channel if you wanna have an eye and watch for the old Bills of making a video on his channel. Well, I'm gonna be the film editor. So I'm gonna do that for him. Why wouldn't I? And hopefully we can edit something decent for him and uh, he can Bob's your uncle and fan of your aunt, boys. Why wouldn't he? But anyways, like I said, that's to come all over the place boys but other than that i was gonna do a video on this panasonic camera the panasonic camera is pretty pretty decent boys but but we gotta get this thing out and about and these things look at it it's only rolled the body once in this thing and i broke it so this thing here it's lost front wheel drive and they're a real pain in the ass to work on i don't know if any of you guys have a udr or not but uh, they're not the easiest thing to work on, they're not. They remind me of the old Savages, eh? Remember the HPI Savage? That thing was kind of a prick to work on too. But this one's kind of the same way. Uh, we got something going on in here, and I don't know if I just didn't put the screws in right or whatnot, but holy cow, look at the cat here. Friggin' cats? What's really going on? God almighty, that's friggin' brutal. I think I lived in a shithole or something. Look, anybody want to fly, boys? Ah, oh. It's an air wig. Here we hanging our wreath there is. You see it? Probably not. It's probably not gonna focus on me here. Hold on. Uh, no, nope, it's not focusing. That's disgusting. Francis. But anyways, we'll get this thing apart and we'll try to figure out what's really going on. Who wants to do that right now? Not me, because my hands are cocked and I don't have my screw gun. I should go get that right now and we can get this thing kind of apart. If anybody knows what goes in the front of this thing, leave your comments down below. It might be the center diff actually. It feels like, is that freaking thing even moving in there? It feels like there's absolutely no resistance. There isn't any. Johnny Five, eh? We're gonna have to disassemble. Frank, disassemble Johnny Five, why wouldn't you? Oh well. But anyways, I'm gonna do a video on this. Not right now, but I'm gonna do a video on this, ripping it apart and seeing what's really going on with that. So that's to come, and then we'll get some of these out once they're all, once they're all up and running, boys, we'll get some of them out, we will. Freaking right, we will. So after we're done that one, I'm gonna get something out that I haven't got out in a long time. Boys, girls, peoples. I wanna get this thing up and going because I haven't used it and I don't know how long and I wanna use it, boys. I'm having withdrawals. I'm not gonna be able to use it till spring, but I have to get her going. The Spartan, boys. The blacked out Spartan, eh? We gotta get this thing going. Freaking right we do. We got a brand new receiver for it because his receiver went in it and this and that and the other thing. We're running some high performer stuff in this, boys. This is a 6S job. We're running the Sea King friggin' 6S setup. And we're running the old Leopard Hobby friggin' motor in her, eh? Check it out. Careful. Check it out, boys. Eh? And if you ever not wanted to sink, just put some floaties in there. 
I don't know if you, oh, hold on to her. I don't know if you can see the floaties all on the sides and stuff. That's what I did, so when it flips, it doesn't sink. Because normally the ass end sinks on these things, but if you do that, she's mint. We're running a little hot on this thing. I was reading up on it, and the reason why I was running so hot, I was melting shit, boys. And the reason why you're melting crap is because it's wrong prop. Okay, I gotta do a prop change on this so it doesn't get so hot because I'm running a brass prop on her and she's got the wrong cock and she's pulling too much drag on her. I was told. And that's why she's melting wires. Because as you can see, I got one hell of a freaking wire set up in this thing. Engage, boys. Okay? Thought we're gonna get going for sure because I want to take that flat black beast out on the water, boys, because it looks mean. My monster friggin' tracks is... Hey, look at that thing, boys. Leave her comments below or hit a like if you like how that thing looks. I think it looks mean. It's got two little red doodads and red doodad. You can see her in the water pretty good. You wouldn't think you could see black in the water, but uh, you sure can. And uh, the trailer needs some TLC. I built that trailer, if anybody's wondering. Check that thing out, eh? I built that, boys. Right, right, it did. And uh, it works real good, it does. Fits the boat pretty nicely. I might have to build another one, but wheel adjustments and stuff like that because it does have ovulating wheels. Okay, shocks, boys. Decent. Okay, all right, it's decent. That's gonna be one of the things on the list to do. But anyways, I just wanted to pop back on here. I just got off work. I want to eat dinner and stuff like that and tell you what's going on and updating you and this and that and the other freaking thing on the hobby stuff. Boys, girls, peoples. Hopefully everybody had a good day. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. And uh, you know what to do for now.